Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and welcome to another edition of House Renovation Time. We're in a kitchen of a 1957 house, and this is a GFCI outlet right here. The circuit is on. And here's a switch right here. The switch is working okay, but we have our Klein Tools RT250 plugged into this GFCI receptacle and it says fault. Furthermore, it says 30 volts. We're on a 120 volt system. So this is only saying 30 volts. What's going on? Well, we're locked out, baby. We are locked out. You know what locked out means? Let me explain that. Let's look at a box for Leviton ground fault circuit interrupter receptacles. It says self-test helps ensure GFCI is providing protection. And a little farther down, it says cannot be reset if miswired, line load reversal only, or if GFCI protection is compromised. That sounds like a friendly statement, doesn't it? Okay, it turned off because we needed production. It'll turn back on, right? No, it doesn't say that on the package either. You're locked out, that's it. That this GFCI receptacle has to be replaced. It's done. So let me show you a little bit about it. This is a test button. So normally if it was working, you could test this and it would go off. The, the red button, that is the upper button, is always the reset button. And the little red light went off for a second. That's interesting. But it's not resetting. That's the point. It's a smart lock. You're locked out. This has to be replaced. So, the question is, why? And how often do these things have to be replaced? It's because the internal workings just aren't functioning as a ground fault circuit interrupter anymore. The circuitry is worn out. And you say, well, this was only in here five years and it's out. Why was that? Well, if you look at this carefully, there's a bunch of cockroach poop in here and that's going to decrease the life of your ground fault circuit interrupter receptacle. If it gets damp, that's going to decrease the life of your ground fault circuit interrupter receptacle. If there's loose wiring in there, that can do it. If there's something wrong in the circuit, that is if perhaps your neutral wire in your panel isn't really tight, that can reduce the life expectancy of your GFCI. And speaking of neutrals, Let's look again at our Klein RT250 outlet tester. Right here it says open neutral. So I believe what the smart lock GFCIs do when they lock you out is they create an open neutral. So there's a whole number of things that can reduce the life of your GFCI, but they do not last forever. If you take this GFCI out and you put it someplace else, that can actually reduce the lifespan of your GFCI. So it is proper maintenance of a GFCI to replace it when it doesn't work, when this test doesn't work. We press test and nothing happens. The black button is always the test button. The red button is always the reset button. And if you have the ground down, the upper button is always the reset button. Here's an example of a white GFCI receptacle and the reset and test buttons are also white. An average GFCI receptacle will last about 10 years, but sometimes they only make it five years. Sometimes they'll make it 15 years, sometimes 20 years. It's hard to tell, but your average is gonna be about 10 years. I hope this video helps you to understand what's happening with your GFCI receptacles and why they might not be working one day. Also, 
If you're interested in more information about the different varieties of GFCI and AFCI slash GFCI receptacle outlets, please see my video. I'll put a link in my video description that tells all about these six different kinds of GFCI receptacles. I'll put individual links for these GFCIs in my video description as well. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.